The business has performed very well commercially during the period. We've seen real growth in aviation, up 37% year on year on passenger numbers. And on the energy division, we've seen a 72% increase in tonnage. So good progress commercially, as well as from a volume perspective. Underlying EBITDA from both operating divisions is also up year on year. So we're very pleased with the progress and we're set for continued growth. The aviation division comprises of Stobart Air, which we've seen some good progress with passenger numbers increasing. We have an aviation services business, which has landed a new contract at London Stansted with EasyJet. But of course, the jewel in the crown is our London airport, London South End. We've seen passenger numbers increase year on year by 37%. We've been growing our relationship with EasyJet. They've put an additional aircraft in, more routes. So we've seen some more growth there. We've also secured Ryanair for next year as a partner and we expect them to deliver circa about a million passengers with some more planes. So for next year, it's gonna be circa around two and a half million passengers. Plus we're in dialogue with other airlines now uh, around the whole London capacity and wide London South End with their massive catchment area is a, is a good place to operate. Of course, it's not only about volume, it's also about uh, the bottom line. We've seen a real improvement in per passenger the EBITDA. We've invested with uh, the restaurant group with some new brands in the airport, Costa, Giraffe, uh, we're going to have a new gastro pub there, so good progress commercially, uh, as well as we've seen some improvements in the car parking conversions uh, and also on the train station. Addition to that, we own and operate a executive jet centre, but we've seen that business in terms of handling movements per year, double year on year. Lastly, we operate a, a hotel, the Holiday Inn at the airport. Occupancy is 90% plus, very pleased with that. And of course, the customer statistics uh, and feedback uh, is one of the best in, in the UK, so very pleased. The energy division is UK's leading biomass provider. Good progress, volumes up 72% year on year. We have a target of 3 million tonnes by 2022. We've got long-term contracts with six big plants for 2 million tonnes, and we're seeing volumes increase as those plants come online. We expect that to continue over the next few years. We also see uh, an improvement on the bottom line, EBITDA per tonne is improving, primarily due to tight cost control, good management and investment into leading uh, IT systems. So together, foundations for growth now set and you're now seeing not only the volume coming through, but obviously the bottom line. The rail and civils business has played a really important part in creating the foundations of infrastructure to grow energy and aviation. We also have third party work uh, with uh, Network Rail as a second tier provider and they're continuing to grow that business. We've also strengthened the management team by appointing a new finance director and a new commercial director and we expect that business to continue to add value. Stobar is in a very strong commercial position. We've laid the right foundations, we have the right infrastructure to really drive growth and volume through the business. We've got a very clear strategy, we've got a clear plan, uh, we've obviously got people now in place in key positions to deliver. Nick Dilworth has been appointed as Chief Operating Officer to the board. Ginny Poolbrook as a non-exec. We have also have a new interim CFO, Michael Williamson, and an interim HRD, Angela Smith. On the aviation side, clearly we've got a target of 5 million passengers by 2022, made some really good progress. We are now contracted around 2.5 million passengers for next year, so we're well on the way to that target. And as well, we're increasing our uh, revenue per passenger. On the energy side, um, we've got a target of 3 million tonnes by 2022. We've got long-term contracts for 2 million tonnes. On the bottom line, we're seeing the uh, EBITDA per tonne increase year on year. So overall, we have a clear and focused strategy. We have a commercial team in place, and we're set to deliver accelerated growth going forward.